During the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, 1,650 U.S. troops in the military lost limbs while serving their country. Our town, Springdale, Arkansas, was named a Purple Heart City in honor of the number of veterans from our community who were wounded in the line of service. Arkansas ranks as one of the highest states in rate of amputation. Phantom limb pains is a condition that can occur after having a limb amputated. This is not a rare condition. 72% of people will experience phantom limb pains after having an amputation. We want to honor our veterans and help many others by creating a virtual reality experience to help with phantom pain. We met with Sammy Beckman, the Director of Physical Therapy Education at NWAC. She taught us about phantom limb pains and mirror therapy something that if nobody talks to you about it's obviously very scary you feel crazy right that you're like I'm positive I feel my toes and you know mentally they know that they don't uh, some patients will suffer for years with it how mirror therapy works it will override that signal and say there is nothing wrong here is your normal limb it is working it's fine you still have it it's good the whole thing that makes this to me, one of the most important things is that you said you, they could put their phone in a VR and do it for 20 bucks. That's amazing. It's affordable, they can access it, and they can do it at home. Using the techniques we learned from Mrs. Beckman, we have created a virtual reality experience to help relieve the symptoms of phantom limb pains. The virtual reality experience walks the person through a variety of exercises designed to activate the nerves and reduce the pain they are having. When the person looks down in the virtual reality, it gives them the illusion of the return of their missing limb to help trick the brain and activate the damaged nerves. We met with Scott West, the Outdoor Adventure Coordinator for Sheepdog Impact Assistance. So I jerked the wheel to the right to take the blast on my side of the truck. When I jerked the wheel, the ID went off. Um, it was not one, one ID, it was three IEDs. So it blew a hole about eight feet wide, about seven foot deep. Today, Scotty travels around the country giving hope and inspiration to other veterans and first responders who were injured in service. Well, I've been with them for now about five years, and uh, I've coordinated about 38 outdoor adventures a year, and we sponsored about 678 veterans last year. Scotty tried out our prototype and gave us valuable feedback. After finishing the improvements, we traveled to the University of Arkansas's indoor track to share our final prototype with Hunter Woodhall. Well, that was weird because I moved at the same time as him. I thought it was my leg. I'm not even lying. That is insane. Like, I could see how it could help really quickly. So that was really cool. We are continuing to work to improve our prototype and hope that our work will help those who are experiencing this condition in our community and around the country.